Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for Buzzworthy Origin Jazz. Just a reminder, it's only the transformation process and the review will be separately uploaded. Also, this is a brand new toy, so it can be a bit tricky, uh, but I'm going to be as descriptive as possible. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off by taking the head, turning it 90 degrees, just facing to the side, taking this faux chest. You can then separate that via that tab, lift it up and cover his head. And if we just raise the arms up slightly, we can tuck the forearms in like so. And then what we need to do, we need to turn the forearms just 90 degrees out, like so, or actually 90 degrees in. The reason being, see, we've got this cut out here. But when we fold these arms in, like so, these are going to line up with some cut out. So if you ever you're unsure, very simply just roll them in and then rotate it around till you've got the little black dot, the hole there on the top, because these, as I say, they're going to clip in in a second. Now, if you wanted to, you could also put the grappling hook. It does say in the instructions and this and the underside in there just before you do the transformation. It's entirely up to you, but it's advising if you wanted to, just to pop them there. You can see it fits snugly around it anyway, um, so we might as well leave it there. Right, if we turn our attention to the backpack, we're gonna fold this up and over. This is gonna cover there, and then this is gonna fold back. And before we clip all this in, we need to turn our attention to the back. Fold the feet in like so, and then what we need to do is separate this via a tab on the side of his leg. There we go, and this will fold up, and then we can fold the side of the door panels out, like so. And then what we need to do, I'm gonna keep it like this, you can see we need to cascade the leg over itself, like so. Ooh, just move this out of the way. So you can see it's folded back, so it's gonna tuck itself in there. So we've completely shortened the size of the leg. There's the tab where the forearm's gonna tab into, okay? So if you look on this side, if we open up this side as well, Again, bear with me, this is a new toy, so it's all stiff, um, as you'd expect it to be, I suppose. Right, panicking now because, come on, there we go. Separate that, fold it out. You can see the difference in the leg length, so it's very simple. Fold it over, nope, not under, you've got to go back on itself, otherwise it won't work. Then you can bring these down. What we'll do is we'll turn these around, and then we'll tab the back together like so, first and foremost. And then it's a case of, again, remember, you've got these black, uh, slots there which is going to line up with the forearm so if you push these forward like so let's get the windscreen now bring this back to tab in like so so tilt it back and it'll click you'll hear it click literally and you can see that then you can put these two tabs over there if that's come apart again just click it together you can close the doors as well click that in same on this side like so and then of course you can just line these up and this will press in like so you'll see it drop in it's up to you when you want to do it you can do it beforehand but you can see that drop in and there he is again if he starts to pop out this is already tied in neatly you can just push it together there he is in alternate mode okay so let's take him back and transform him into robot mode so i'd suggest perhaps just separating the forearms ever so slightly purely because these are tabbed in to the bottom part of the shins then i'd suggest holding the front and then carefully pulling this apart so that'll separate that from there you can if you want to then open the doors and then if you keep hold of all of this you can then separate the legs ever so slightly and then what you need to remember is you need to cascade it back out like that so just literally pull it right out nice and controlled now open up the side of the leg again holding on to this it's just got stuck so i'm going to fold hold on to the side of the leg and then bring that out fold this in on itself that will tab into there and then we're going to correct the knee orientation so push this in fact let me show you this let's pull this right up like so close this over it hasn't gone all the way forward there we go rock it forward it'll click in and then that'll click over as well and then of course you can fold out the foot and I've got no nails, so I'm useless at that. Have I got it? Just about, yep, there we go. So there's the one leg. So what we're doing on this side is we're separating this. It's really tabbed in, which you can see, which I suppose is a good thing. There we go. Fold this tab into there. I'm going to try and get the foot out again now while I'm here. Should be a bit easier. Yeah, there it is. Fold this in, and then you've got the tab there, which is going to line up with the back. And you can hear that click in. Right, draw our attention to this now. Separate the windscreen and take the front of the, well, I'd call it the bonnet, I think in America it's called a hood, but because it's a Cybertronian vehicle, it doesn't really make a difference. Separate the windscreen first, fold that back, 
and fold it back over itself, bring the arms out, take the grappling hook out and the attachment because that's just stuck in there as well now typically. Yeah, it has. Perhaps you shouldn't put it all in. In fact, no, you definitely can't. Yeah, I need to get that out. So there we go. Bring that down, turn the head around, pull the fists out and correct the orientation of the fists like so. And bring this over and there we have it. Perfect. Robot mode.